What's happening, everyone? <clears throat> oh, pardon me. Do that again, shall we? What's happening? You right or what? Oh, God. All right. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, come on, game. Don't do this to me. Uh, hold on. Ah, oh, all right. There we go. We're good. We're good. Everything's working. Everything's working. Fret ye not. Uh, there we go. All right. What's happening? You right? Um, so, yeah. It's uh, another Fallout Saturday, uh, I guess. Um, <laughs> uh, Miguel turned up on Wednesday and was like, why are you playing Fallout next? Um, and uh, I posted it up on Twitter and was like, oh, Fallout this Saturday. And it seemed to get a, a relatively positive response. So, um, here we are. Here we are, I guess. Uh, carrying on with Fallout New Vegas. Which uh, I got no complaints about because I flipping love this game. As I've uh, stated uh, multiple times playing this game. Um, we'll um, see how it goes tonight. We'll see how it goes. And uh, we'll see how it goes and see, uh, see what we can do. And um, see how it goes uh, in terms of uh, how long we'll stream for. I'll try and get um, I'll try and get as much in as possible, of course. Um, you know, a few hours at least. I'll try and get uh, a few quests done, and uh, we'll have a good time. We'll have a good time in this uh, post-apocalyptic wasteland. So yeah, and um, oh, I almost forgot as well. Happy big weekend! It's the weekend. Uh, it's a big Saturday today. And I uh, hope everyone's had a good week. I hope everyone's uh, had a good week. And you didn't get too much homework uh, to do over the weekend. And if you did, make sure you do it. Because, uh, uh, yeah, you, I don't want you to get in trouble on my behalf or anything. But, without further ado, let's, uh, let's get into the game, shall we? Let's get into the game and see what uh, where we're at. So, uh, last week... Was it last week? Bloody hell, two weeks, two Saturdays in a row. You l lucky devils, you. Um, last week we did um, Boulder City. And that's where we are. Right outside of Boulder City. Uh, Victor didn't show up, which was odd. I mean, uh, it's still time, I guess. So, Great Khans are over there on their way home. Because we resolved the situation as uh, favourable as is possible. Without pissing off either the Khans or the uh, NCR. Uh, in fact, I think you gain a little bit of infamy, uh, not infamy, sorry, opposite of infamy. Uh, you gain a little bit of fame from both factions, uh, resolving it the way that we did, which was to let the Great Khans go uh, without any issue whatsoever or any, uh, any bloodshed. Um, bear with me one moment, just a second. Hold up, sorry, sorry. I think everything sounds alright anyway. If um if there's any issues at all, if anything's uh too loud or not loud enough, uh etc. Let me know in the chat and um I'll sort that out. I'll sort that out. Yeah, Victor, where is Victor? Why isn't Victor shown up? He, he does have a habit of not showing up in some places or being really easy to miss. Um, it's not essential that you talk to him, but I would like to. I would like to because he kind of, uh, I think, anyway, he kind of points you in the direction on which to go next. Um, I mean, we could wait for an hour. That would... Um, that would do damage to our uh, our food, sleep, and water. But maybe it'll show. No? No Victor today. Hmm. All right. Okay. Well, never mind. Never mind. That is a shame, though. I would have liked to have spoken to uh, Victor and got his dialogue. But, um... Never mind. Never mind. 
I wonder why he didn't show. He he can't. He, he tends not to sometimes. To be fair, so it's not that unusual, I guess. Um, right. So, what should we do today? Let's have a look at our quest log. We've got. We've only got like um, uh, these. These below. These are all the DLCs, which we're nowhere near ready for yet. So um, we've only got a, a, a choice of four quests at the moment. Booted, I'm not going to do right now. Uh, we will do that before the, um, the faction reset in the strip. Uh, we will do that. However, uh, I don't want to do it now. Not right now, because I don't want to piss off the, the Legion at this, uh, this early in the game. Uh, bam! Yo, what up, man? How are you? I'm very well, Bam. I'm very well. Thanks for asking. How about yourself, uh, Bam? Uh, welcome. Uh, thanks for popping along, dude. Happy, uh, happy weekend. Happy big weekend. Um, ring a ding ding is uh, just to get to the strip. Um, we can uh, we can delay that for a little while. Uh, Eddie appears to have some enclave log data stored that is triggered by some keywords. Okay. Uh, we'll get into dialogue in a second with Eddie and see if uh, we can uh, get anything triggered there. Um, and booted, like I say, um, we, we're not going to do that just yet. When we do do that, though, um, it'll be before we confront Benny uh, and we get the uh, faction reset. We'll go and get Boone, because Boone is fond of killing Legion. So, uh, uh, Andy, I have a fun request. Okay, dude, um, what's your request? Lay it on me, uh, Ben. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Oh, glad, uh, glad to hear you well. Glad to hear you well. What's, um, what's your request, dude? Um, so, I think... Bearing all that in mind, what we'll do, we'll just um, tag, uh, we'll activate Heartache by the number for now. And uh, we'll head that way. We'll head that general way. Magoop! <coughs> oh, pardon me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Magoop! Hi, all. Um, hi, Magoop. Happy big uh, weekend. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing good. And uh, uh, think for five seconds and recommend a song. Any song? Think for five seconds and, and recommend a song. Any song, any song at all. Any song at all. So I've, I've thought of one, if it's any song. Or does it have to be from a video game? I'm hoping as well. Um, I'm, I can't remember the name of it. It's 80 something. Um, or other. Oh, wait. It's meeting you here, friend. Jesus Christ. Take your time, Victor. All right, Victor turned up. Uh, good, thank you. Got some chores done. And now I'm chilling for a bit. Nice. Going to celebrate a friend's birthday later today. Oh, happy birthday to your friend. I hope you have a good time as well, Magoop. Uh, bam. Yes, okay, any song. Any song. Uh, only because I had a bit of a... Um, uh, the sun was shining in Wales yesterday. And I was out and about. And um, I had uh, Nirvana on, on Spotify. So, uh, Nirvana, very ape. There we go. There's my song choice. Uh, how are you all doing? I'm very well, Magoop. Thanks. Uh, very well indeed. Anything. Yeah, say it. Uh, yeah, Very Ape by Nirvana. That's my, my choice of song. Um, right, let's, uh, let's chat with uh, Victor a second, see what he has to say. Now, uh, how did you get here? Just rolling along on my spurs. Looks like I just might make it to New Vegas after all. You see what happened in there? Yep. Guess it's just down to you and Fancy Pants. I wouldn't worry about him. He looks all hat and no cattle, if you ask me. <laughs> uh, it's good to see you again, Victor. Even though you were fashionably late, to put it nicely. Yep, but this is getting a mighty embarrassing. People gonna start to talk. <laughs> uh, did you see Benny come this way? Fancy Pants? No, I ain't seen hiding a hair of him since the tussle in Good Springs. I'm sure he ran back to the soft living in New Vegas, though. Uh, bam. Sorry, it lagged for a second. You said Nirvana. Yeah, um, Nirvana, the band, the song, Very Ape. Very Ape. Uh, I don't... Oh, no, let's not be mean to, uh, to Victor. Um... And it wasn't really much uh, that he gave away anyway, so that was a bit, um, that was a bit, a bit anticlimactic, really. Um, never mind. Stupid Victor. I want to go in this place first, though, before we go anywhere. I almost totally forgot about this place. It's worth paying uh, a visit into here. There's some, uh, there's some, some stuff of value in here. 
For instance, star bottle cap right here on the table. Malcolm Holmes still hasn't um, pop shown his head though. He, he normally pops up if you've got star bo bottle caps. But in this instance, we haven't seen him, which is kind of annoying because um, I kind of want his um, I want I want his uh, his outfit. A customer. Not many people come into Boulder City these days. Uh, sh tell me about Boulder City. Most of the town is rubble. Destroyed during the Battle of Hoover Dam. And the only other thing around here is the concrete mixing yard. Uh, show me what you have for sale. What can I get you? Right. What have we got that we can sell you, my good man? Um, pretty well money can go. Um, did we sell a bunch of stuff um, that Eddie was holding on to? I'll check in just a second. Where are my weapons? Um... Spike Knuckles can go. Okay. Yeah, we're looking. Um, we're looking Eddie's. Uh, in Eddie's um, inventory shortly. This guy's just got. Sunset Sarsaparilla. Mm. Um, this guy's just got various different Thanks. food and, and healing items. Uh, what's the concrete used for? The NCR has been constructing bunkers up and down the river. From what I've heard, it's a little late for that. Travelers over at the 188, just up the road, said that the Legion has overrun a couple of towns to the south. That might be where I want to go. I swear uh, Veronica hangs out. I swear I want to go uh, on the way to uh, Heartache by the number. Uh, where does the concrete come from? Most of the limestone comes from Quarry Junction out west, but I hear some death claws overran the quarry. With no work to be had, all the workers around here have wandered off. I'm the only one left in town. Cool, we've got a map, map marker out of that as well. Oh. That's good. All right. Okay. Now, normally I would rob this guy, but I, I can't be bothered, to be honest with you. So, let's just get going. Um, right. Where was that map, map marker? Not that one. Oh, we'll head up towards uh, Crimson Caravan. Um, we have... Hey. Hiya. Um... Ringo's waiting there with the other half of our pay as well, uh, from helping him in Ghost Town Gunfight. He's a man of his word as well. He does actually uh, run up to you and um, give you the half of the money that he promised. The other half. Uh, I should be walking around armed with my gun out, ready. Oh, especially seeing as there's uh, enemies somewhere. Oh, they're only dogs. Are they legionary dogs? As if they are. No, they're not. Good. Good. I don't want to piss off the legion just yet. Like I said. I forgot to check uh, Eddie's inventory as well, didn't I? They still don't know where I am. There we go. Any more? I think that's it. Eddie, let me check your inventory. Also, I need to talk to you, don't I? Oh, we had tons to sell. Oh, well, never mind. Eddie, let's have a chat. Um, talk to. Um, Hmm. No, I guess there's nothing, uh, nothing that will trigger his, uh, his, di uh, his quest there. Right, let's just start, uh, keep heading towards Crimson Caravan. Okay. I have uh, little recollection of what we're going to come across going this way. If I'm honest with you. Oh. What was that? A lot of uh, ticks there over there on my compass. They're friendly ones though. They're yellow. Still, I'm intrigued. Let's go and have a look, see what's going on. 
Oh, this is where... Uh, yes, this is where I was uh, alluding to earlier. Uh, we can go and get Veronica here. This outpost 80-something or other. There she is. Speak of the devil. 188 trading post. There we are. Hey. Hello. No offense, but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? Not a million miles away from the truth, I guess. Um, the grave. Huh. Well, in that case, I take it back. You look pretty good, given the circumstances. Well, welcome then. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. <laughs> You live in a hole in the ground? Well, a bunker, if you want to get technical. I think it sounds more interesting my way. But I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family. Whatever they need. I th Thinking about it, right? If someone in the Fallout universe were to say to you, I come from a hole in the ground, it's not that unusual. Being as that um, there are multiple vaults scattered around America. So um, that kind of makes sense. It's kind of not an unusual answer. So, you just leave your family in the bunker. Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves. But somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? And actually these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway. But that's a whole other story. So listen, can I ask you something on the level? Go ahead. I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? Um... We'll take the intelligence check here. Um, if you have low intelligence, um, you get an option here to say something along the lines of they're made of metal and they shoot lasers out their eyes or something along those lines. Um, so you get some unique dialogue here for a low intelligence character. We're going to do our intelligence check here, though. Uh, they're usually harmless unless you, would, uh, unless you use advanced technology around them. Well, that shouldn't be a problem for me. I can't afford anything like that. Hey, so where are you headed anyway? Uh, the strip. Oh, we'll say we'll go and see an old friend. We'll, uh, we'll be a bit more, uh, cryptic. This is quite a journey you're going on, then. Must be an interesting relationship to have brought you all this way. I'll be honest. You're the first person I've run across out here that looks like he can really handle himself. Oh, well, thank you. There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together. Help each other out. Sure. Um, we won't be rude. Uh, we won't say you don't look like much. That's pretty rude. Um, where are you hoping to go? Oh, nowhere in particular, really. Just hoping to see more of the world. Looking for a fresh perspective. I want to see how different groups have adapted to survive in the Mojave. See if there's something I can learn from. Uh, bam. Not what I usually listen to, but I liked it. <laughs> Did you go out and listen to the song? Um, I was um, I was a huge, huge, huge Nirvana fan in high school. Um, I highly recommend a lot of their stuff, um, especially um, now. D d have you ever have you ever like listened to a song too much that you grow to hate it? Because um, Nirvana's most known for "Smells Like Teen Spirit," right? Uh, it's the first track on "Nevermind," which is the the album that broke that blew them up. Um, it went. It, th that's when they went mega stars. Um, after that album released, I can't stand that song, but it's a really good song. The only reason I can't stand it is because I, I I overplayed it when I was young. But that whole album is brilliant. Um, well, and then uh, anything, anything, any of their albums. They only released four studio albums, unfortunately, though, because um, as we all know, uh, Kurt uh, took his life. But um, yeah, um, do you give him a. Give, give a bit more of this stuff uh, a listen to, Bam. If you like Very Ape, um, then, uh, yeah, um, I, 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 I bet you, you'd like a lot of their stuff. You'd like a lot of their stuff. But, um, yeah, I was a huge, huge Nirvana fan in high school. Uh, loved them, loved them. I got, got really into them in high school. Um, <clears throat> okay, no, let's not be rude. Um, okay, let's travel together. Now you're talking. One thing you should know first, though. I ask you about the Brotherhood because I'm one of them. I know, I know, but I had to know how you react when I told you. We have made a lot of enemies. You still okay bringing me along? Mm. Yeah, as long as you're honest with me from now on. Sure, 
Just don't ever ask me if your outfit makes you look fat. <laughs> well, thanks for taking a chance on a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her hand. She's from California. I didn't, road, I didn't huh? know that. Okay, cool. Let's go. Now we've got Veronica traveling with us. Um, bam. Uh, not sure if there's a song I've listened to that much. Oh, that you actually break it? Um, I'm not a big fan of them, but another song that springs to mind that I can't listen to anymore. But it's not because it's a bad song. Um, I'm not a fan of the band, though. They're okay. Um, there's a few songs of theirs that I like. But um, Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses. I can't stand that song. I've heard it way too much. I've heard it so much that I, I actually dislike it now. Um, I'm a huge fan of Go Gojira and Dream Theater. Th Sorry, Dream Theater. Uh, Gojira are amazing. Gojira, uh, I've seen live. I've actually seen them live. I've actually seen Gojira support uh, Trivium. Uh, I traveled up to Newport in Wales uh, to watch them. And um, it was the first time I heard Gojira. And then I went out and checked them out. And first thing I listened to afterwards was uh, Heaviest Matter in the Universe, which is, <laughs> it is a heavy tune. But I really like that band. They're really, really good. French band. And um, it's also uh, the first time I remember not go jumping in the pits because um, it was terrifying. There was just gigantic muscle, muscly dudes with like mohawks and I just like going crazy in the pits. And I was like, no, I'm all right. And that's the first time that ever happened. When I, when I was younger, I wouldn't do it now. Obviously, I'm too old. <laughs> but um, is that a, that's a star battle cap. Amazing. Um, yeah, but that was the first time that ever happened, where I was like, uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> I was on my own as well, so that might have uh, contributed. Uh, bam, like 0.1% or something. Wow, I've promised myself to see them live when I get out of my country. I think um, it was a long... You've done a good turn for the NCR, and now we'd like to do one for Jesus you. Jesus Christ, dude. There's an NCR emergency two-way radio. Oh, you okay. You call, and we'll come running. Cool. You're not alone out here. The NCR has your back. Stay safe and good hunting. That's interesting. Now, um, we get an emergency radio in our inventory that doesn't... I think it's like one location in the whole map where it actually works. Uh, where is it? Oh, we got 22 bottle caps already as well. Cool. Um, where is it? Is it an aid? Ah, NCR emergency radio. Yeah, it barely works. It barely works, which is funny. Um, yeah, when I went to see Go Gojira, it was on my birthday one year. I remember that. Um, I went to see Trivium. I can't remember how old I was turning, though. I want to say 23. Yeah, I want to say 23. It was on my 23rd birthday. and um, Which is a long time ago now. <laughs> which is, is horrible. It's horrible to think. Uh, it was like, that was well over 10 years ago. Um, but yeah, yeah, uh, they were amazing live as well, really good, really good, really good band, really good band. Um, where are we going? Oh yeah, to, uh, Crimson Caravan, right? Um, I think I'm forgetting something. I'm sure, I'm sure I remember, I'm sure I remember. Now, Veronica here, um, she's good at punching stuff, if you see, she's got a power fist. She wears power fist and use, uses that. And, uh, yeah, she's good at punching as well, gotta say. We'll, um, we'll find out more about her slowly, slowly but surely. There's a few, um, there's a few areas that we'll need to go to to trigger her companion quest. And, uh, she'll introduce us to the Brotherhood of Steel eventually. Right. I think we're getting uh I think we're getting near to Crimson Caravan now. Oh or oh not. We're miles away, as it goes. But we'll uh we'll keep following this road. In um in this game, uh they tell you pretty early on and um, consistently through the game to stick to the roads because the roads are safer. And they're not they're not joking. Um as opposed to Fallout three. Fallout three um is where like you can get like enclave um, set up on the roads, or you can just get random creatures and wildlife this dangerous randomly uh, wander around anyway, really. Um, it's 
dangerous all over the place in uh, in, in Fallout 3. New Vegas, though, um, you want to stick to the roads. You want to listen to uh, people when they say that, because that is the safest way to travel around the Mojave. Um, I'm just trying to think what that is over there. What we got over there? Do I can't remember. It doesn't look familiar to me. We'll just keep going on. Um, when we get to uh, Crimson Caravan, um, we should be able to progress with Cass's um, side quest as well. Hopefully. Uh, I'm Funny, I haven't listened to Gojira for that long. Uh, I used to listen to Dream Theater all the time. I love systematic chaos. Uh, then a friend of mine told me about Gojira in high school. Nice. Yeah, I haven't, um, I haven't really listened to much Dream Theater. I've um, I've heard of them. The first time I heard of Dream Theater was um, my driving instructor back when I was uh, when I was younger, and um, he was obsessed with them. He was obsessed with them. But um, I was I was very young at the time, um, which I say a lot now that I think about it. Is this Sloan? Oh no, this is Crim. What is this? What have we got here? Grub and gulp. Okay, cool. Welcome to the Grub and Gulp. Um, but yeah, at the time I was very young and uh, all I cared about at that period of time was just um, heavy music. Um, so maybe I'll give Dream Theater a, a try now because now that I'm older, my music taste is a lot different. Um, listening to like really, really heavy stuff all the time. Uh, this might sound a little weird, but it's kind of painful after a while, you know? Um, so I can't do it all the time, not like I used to. Um, it's probably why I'm 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 deaf and I got bloody um, tinnitus as well. I probably damaged my ears over the over the uh, years. All the um, times I was a, li a live music show, and you see people walking around with earplugs in, and at the time I was like, what the fuck? You know, I was like, I'd be like pussy or whatever. And now, now as an adult, when my ears are shot, I'm like, oh no, those guys really knew what they were doing. <laughs> But yeah, um, what is this place? Just a little rest stop that me and my good friend Lupe set up. Last stop on your way into New Vegas, first stop on your way out. That's what I say. Show me what you have for sale. Sure thing. Uh, Anything he's gonna do, do yeah, he got a lot of, uh, ooh. Nah, never mind, we're good, we're good. Um. Hello. Hello. I don't remember this place. This place is cool. Anyway, let's uh, continue on to uh, Crimson Caravan. We've got to be close now, right? Oof, get in there. Get in there. What's, uh, what's up on our, our right there? Vault 34. We do not want to go there just yet. Not until much later, if, if at all. If, uh, if Vault 34, I think... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but Vault 34 is the really radioactive one with all the, the ghouls in it, uh, which is a bit of a nightmare. I think we'll need to go there at some point, maybe, um, related to a quest. We, might, uh, we might go there and, and clear that out later on. But uh, let's press on for now. Oh, with Booted as well, um, where we go and rescue the Powder Gangers from the Legion, there is um, something else that I would like to do prior to uh, that quest as well. Um, it's to do with, um, I forget the name of um, the NCR base. Um, I think it's McCarran actually. Or um, no, it's not McCarran. Anyway, um, there's a mission later on where you've got to boost the NCR morale. I want to get that um, activated as well before we do booted. As well as not uh, pissing off the, the Legion. Okay, we've got to be getting, getting close now, surely. We're in the outskirts of uh, New Vegas now. You can actually see the Lucky 38, and it looks kind of pretty. It looks kind of pretty at night time. All the strip lit up like that. It looks really nice, really, really nice. Such an old game, it has its moments. It can look uh, really pretty at times, this, this, uh, this game. Uh, let's, uh, let's uncover some uh, fast travel locations as well, so we may as well. Um, I don't know what building this is. 
Maybe the Robco one? East Pump Station. Don't know why that hasn't uh, activated the map marker. Maybe if I go around this way. Come on now. You get XP for, um, for finding places as well. So if we can get this to activate, we may as well. For some reason it doesn't want to. Oh well. Oh, there we go. East Pump Station, there we go. And we got 9 experience for that. We're close to level 10, and level 10 is going to be a perk level as well, which is nice. Remember, we are leveling uh, slower than we would normally as well, because we took um, Skilled as a trait. So we sacrificed 10% of all of our XP. So uh, we're actually uh, lower than we should be uh, at the moment. We're going to level much, much slower. But um, I don't think that's much of a problem. Um, it might be early game, because we might, we might not be uh, strong enough to tackle things like Legion hit squads if we piss off the Legion. But um, I don't think it's a problem in the long run, because um, you will always hit level cap if you keep playing this game. Nice, it's a magazine. Always check mailboxes. There's another one. Another magazine. A good source of magazines, mailboxes. So uh, always have a look. Always have a look, see what you can find in them. Right. We must be close now. Another thing we might be close to as well. Oh, is that McCarran? Might be McCarran up ahead. Also, um, we got to watch out for fiends. Because uh, we could be approaching uh, fiend territories shortly. This might be a Crimson Caravan, actually. It is. It's Crimson Caravan. Okay, this is our destination. Fantastic. Um, oh! Uh, bam. I should get some food. I'll be back later. See you guys. I'll see you, Bam. Um, see you later. See you later on. And I uh, hope you have good food. Hope you have something delicious, dude. Uh, who's in... Oh, it's Ringo. Uh, Ringo just ran up to us and get... See? Man of his word, uh, like I've been saying. He ran up to us and gave us the other half of the money that he promised us for saving him. Uh, so what's next for you, Ringo? I'm getting ready to run a caravan up towards Utah. There's a town called New Canaan which is supposed to be pretty prosperous. The Crimson Caravan doesn't have any branches out that way. So it'll be up to me to get things started. Um, it's funny he mentions that. New Canaan is um, the location in the Honest Hearts DLC. And... Um, Best of luck to you, uh, Ringo, because um, the ca spoilers. But the caravan you travel with to um, to uh, that DLC doesn't really work out for them. So uh, best of luck to you, Ringo. Uh, Ringo is actually a good dude. So I mean that. Um, I hope uh, I hope he does well. Um, who's in charge here? Alice McLafferty runs the Crimson Caravan. You can find her over in the main office. Okay. Goodbye. I'll see you around. Hello. Oh, I better put my gun away. Right. Okay. While we're here, uh, we want to speak to Alice McLafferty, I believe. Um, you as well, my good man, because you often have good stuff. Um, before I forget this time, let's just grab a bunch of stuff to sell. Uh, engine rifle, plasma rifle. Uh, yeah. Eddie can hold on to the rest for now. Um, you, my good man. Uh, let's hope you he's got some good yourself, good stuff on him today. To the right man. Show me what you got. Can do. Right. Uh, first of all, uh, let's sell all of our stuff. So we we'll sell that. Sell that. Plasma rifle. Hmm. Believe that is all. Unless we got anything miscellaneous to sell. Nope. Okay, cool. Let's see what you've got on you, my good man. Three, five, seven. No, we don't need that. Hopefully, he's got some decent mods. Cowboy repeater. No. Grenade li rifle. I don't think um, the unique, um, the unique weapons you get from. Um, Courier stash take mods, unfortunately. 
hunting rifle scope laser rifle scope let me just go into my uh, weapons uh, menu a second uh, we don't have a laser rifle do we no we've got a laser pistol but that one's also a, a gun runner's arsenal stress and the modern refugee hmm that feel, I feel like that will have importance down the line oh that will we'll buy that definitely uh, we'll get this also because it doesn't cost a lot Okay, um, let's have a look what else you've got, my good man, in terms of, uh, right, not much in terms of weaponry. Desperado co cowboy hat? Wow, that sounds cool. I'm going to buy that, <laughs> just because. Um, okay, let's look at your aid as well. Yep. Yep. I need water as well. I was running low on water, if I remember. Um, that'll do. That'll do nicely. Okay, cool. Can you answer some questions for me? Maybe. What do you want to know? Where does the Crimson Caravan Company get its merchandise? Trade routes, my friend. Trade routes. Just about every major town in the wasteland has a Crimson Caravan branch in it. Do your caravans ever have trouble from bandits? Out here, we usually split our caravans into smaller bands. That way, we don't lose everything if they get hit. It's not very efficient, though. But hopefully, we'll be able to start running larger caravans once things get civilized. Uh, where are you from? A little place in the NCR called Oak Creek. Used to be a farming town until it got taken over by ranchers. I didn't want to herd Brahmin for a living, so I signed on with the Crimson Caravan and headed east. Not much to tell, really. Uh, that's all. Neat. Uh, goodbye. Okay, so we got to go and speak with uh, Alice McLafferty now. Um, Eddie, hold on to some stuff for me, will you? Uh, I noticed that for some reason I'm carrying around explosives. Well, uh, keep them on him for now, uh, until we need them. I'll just have to remember that... Uh, Eddie's got all my uh, all my explosives on them, uh, and you can hold on to you can hold on to this hat as well. Uh, I didn't really need to buy the hat, but it's cool, so you know that's why I bought it. Um, I really hope that Malcolm Malcolm Holmes shows up shortly. I hope um I don't think I missed him. I don't remember him showing up, but because we got star bottle caps, he should have shown up by now. It's really weird that he hasn't. Uh, Alice McLafferty. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company, New Vegas branch. What may I do for you? Um, I'm looking for work. I'm afraid we have no current openings for caravanners or guards, but I am in need of a runner. Okay, I'll take it. What do you need to do? Deliver this invoice to Dr. Hildern. You can find him somewhere inside Camp McCarran. I'd like to know more about Crimson Caravan Company. Certainly. What would you like to know? How long have you been in business? The Crimson Caravan Company has been in business for over 130 years. We're partially responsible for the progress in the NCR. Uh, does the Crimson Caravan any, have any competition? Well, the gunrunners continue to dominate the weapons market. And the Mormon traders from New Canaan control the majority of the northern routes. Uh, you're well dressed for this place? Normally, I oversee company operations at the hub in California. However, the New Vegas branch has been underperforming in recent years. Given the conditions here, it's not hard to see why. I'll change all that soon enough. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have any more questions. Let's talk about something else. All right. Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, goodbye. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. <laughs> um, okay. All right. She's um, normally in the office as well. She's not normally in these uh, in these barracks. It's a bit strange that she's in there. Um, unless she sleeps in there with the guards. I don't know. But um, hey. the main office is... I, but, oh, I'm not sure. Look around. I think there's something of significance in there. So let's... Uh, main office. Here we are. Yes, here we go. Um... <coughs> Be careful not to sequence break. See if I can get away with this. Hidden. Let me 
take all the money. Uh, there's actually not. There's actually not anything of significance in here. Uh, we'll take these. And we'll take these. That's fine. I thought that it might have been... Uh, unless it hasn't spawned in yet. But um, no. It's fine. It's fine. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Right. What's next on our to-do list? Pitching at the Crimson Caravan Company if you're looking for caravan work. Okay. Deliver the Crimson Caravan invoice to Dr. Hilden at Camp McCarran. Okay. Let's uh, head over to Camp McCarran then. That's a good place to uh, go, actually. That's like um, the headquarters of the NCR. We can get a lot of uh, quests um, from Camp McCarran as well. And hopefully, um, hopefully get some stuff started that I want to get started. Ready for, uh, for booted. Um, where is Camp McCarran on the map? Oh, it's quite a way away. Uh, it's okay. We'll get, we'll get there. Oh, we can go past the gun runners in the meantime as well. That's a good little shop. It's a good shop, uh, the gun runners. They sell really powerful stuff. And if you've got the caps for it, um, you can get some really powerful stuff early game. Uh, especially if you go and break all the casinos. Because there is a way of just going straight to the strip, going to the casinos, and just breaking the casinos. Uh, and making a lot of money in the process. Um, you can get some real powerful stuff at the gun runners. So we'll swing, uh, we'll swing by the gun runners um, on the way. See what, uh, Hello, if anything, we can pick up that's useful. The problem with uh, gun runners, though, wish to in places like um, in Novak, for instance, you can get your reputation up to idolize there, so you get the best prices. You can't ever do that with the gun runners. You don't have uh, a reputation system with these guys. So um, let's uh, see what you got for sale, my my good robot. I am ready to process our transaction. Right, weapons, weaponry. <clears throat> There's a few uniques here as well. Anti-material rifle, if you can afford it. We can't, unfortunately. But the anti-material rifle is probably one of the most powerful guns in the game. Um, Boza, I think that's uh, unique. It's 29,000 caps, though. That's crazy. We've got nowhere near that amount. Chainsaw, if you're into melee. Esther. Esther is a crazy, uh, um, unique fat man. Um, I think that's the one that lobs multiple... Uh, mini nukes. Uh, that's uh, I th is that the only shish kebab in the game? Ge uh, Gehenna? I don't I don't think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, it's either a unique shish kebab, uh, which is nice for it to return. It's a gun runner's arsenal item as well, so it was added with that pack. Uh, hunting revolver. Medicine stick is uh, is a good weapon. We've got a gun runner's arsenal power fist there as well. The Ripper, which is uh, GRA. Um, Two-step goodbye. That's funny. Um, if you get, because uh, you can get easily get um, critical hits from sneak attacks with uh, uh, melee weapons. Even if you don't specialize in melee, you can get really good um, uh, critical uh, damage or, or even uh, insta kills with sneak attacks. With that though, and this weapon, uh, the uh, corpse will actually explode. It's really funny. Um, we're not going to buy any any weaponry though. Oh, he's got reinforced Mark II co combat armor. It's expensive, but it's really good at the same time. Um, hmm. I'm actually considering buying that, even though it is a lot of money. It's not in the best condition though. Maybe not. Um, let's have a look at what uh, what mods he's got. Um, it's got quite a lot. I don't think you can. Um, I don't think you can mod unique weapons though, and I don't think you can mod uh, the courier stash stuff or uh, GRA stuff. Salt carbine, cowboy repeater, chainsaw. He's got a lot of uh, mods. Hmm. Do you know what I think? Um, I think what we'll do for now. I think we'll. Um, I think we'll save our money, and um, we will. Uh, we'll save up for Paciencia from Novak because I really Come want that back thing. and see us again soon. Sure thing, buddy.
Right, let's uh, get on our way over to McCarran. Now, McCarran, I know for a fact, is right next door to Fiend territory. So, um, there could be fiends just wandering around. And uh, fiends, fiends have good, um, good weaponry to sell. They often ta uh, carry uh, laser weaponry. So, um, if we could take a few down, we're close to leveling up, but also um, we could make some money off them as well. So, uh, if we do run into any fiends, let's be ready for them. I don't think I'm going the right way either. But uh, it'll, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, I think um, I think saving for paciencia is going to be uh, the best thing to do. Oh, sharecropper farms! Sharecropper farms are amazing. There's loads of good um, food items in sharecropper farms. Uh, let's go inside. Uh, greenhouse. The sharecropper farms. I think it's stealing, but yeah. Oh, some are and some aren't. So we're gonna take the ones that aren't. Because maize is f a fantastic healing item. It's really, really good. So we're going to take any that we're allowed to. We're not going to steal on this occasion. For once. Um, I only want the maize though. I don't want... Uh, I don't want pinto beans or... Um, jalap maybe they got jalapenos. Maybe not. But uh, yeah, we want maize. We want as much of this stuff as we can get our hands on. I don't know why a couple of them are stealing and a couple of them aren't. It seems like most of them aren't. That one is, for some reason. But, uh, yeah, maize is amazing. Uh, no pun intended. Right, um, let me show you about maize a second. Maize, uh, minus 80 food, minus 20 H2O as well. As well as being a healing item. I'm going to eat some of that right now, because we haven't eaten in a while. Also, I need to sleep soon. Uh, what was that? That was H2O. We bought some purified water as well, so I'm going to drink one of them. And uh, now we're good. Now we're good. Apart from sleep, but we'll we'll find somewhere to rest shortly. Do you know when um, last time we played? Last time we played, um, I think I missed out on player housing in Novak. Because uh, I think we killed uh, Jeannie May uh, too early to get the player housing. Because um, cause I was robbing her, um, and I found the bill uh, of sale of Boone's wife in her, um, in her safe. I think um, we should have waited a little while uh, and done Come Fly With Me first. And I think we would have got free player housing um, in, in one of the hotel rooms there. Which is unfortunate, because it would be a nice place to store some stuff. It's okay, it's not a massive issue, because we still got Eddie to carry stuff. But... Um, I think I missed out on that. Also, I failed to mention as well, uh, last time, when we were speaking to Manny, uh, Manny Vargas, um, you can actually break into his uh, um, computer terminal in his room, and, um, excuse me, you can find the information that you need there, rather than doing Come Fly With Me, and uh, find her out that way. It's just, if you do it that way, you miss out on some uh, fame with Novak, and um, you you won't get idolized there, which uh, you you want to do. You want to get idolized in Novak because they got one of the best shops in the whole game, uh, which is the dinosaur shop. Um, you, my good man. It's been a long tour. All I can think about now is going back home. Fair enough. Right, let's go into Camp McCarran. There's a few things we can pick up here in terms of quests. And uh, get on the uh, NCR's good side even more. I haven't, um, I haven't actually decided yet how we're going to resolve um, New Vegas. Um, I haven't decided whether or not... Uh, oh, this isn't stealing. Nice. Uh, I haven't decided whether or not we're going to side with... Uh, or who we're going to side with, rather. Uh, whether we side with the Legion, the NCR, or we'll uh, side with uh, Mr. House... Or um, go for the independent Vegas route. Um, if um, if you want me to uh, play through this game in any particular way, um, if you want me to side with any particular faction to end the game and resolve the game, uh, let me know. Let me know. And uh, that's the route we'll take. I'll uh, I'll let 
I'll let the audience decide. Gecko steak, huh? Uh, free sniper rifle by here as well, which is nice. Uh, I want these uh, magazines. Not stealing either. Just needed to crouch down to pick them up because of where they were. Uh, you, my good man, are you the guy I'm looking for? Sergeant Bitterroot? I'm Bitterroot, first recon. You got a reason to talk to me? Uh, Bitterroot, uh, you have an unusual name. You trying to start trouble? Or do you really not know where I got that name? I didn't mean to offend. You uh, You don't have to tell me if you'd rather not. Uh, nice speech check there. You get experience for this, so we'll, we'll do that. It's a con name. You know, the great cons. That's what my parents were. Oh, I'm I figured I sorry, I options. misspoke there. You don't get yeah, um, you don't get XP, put XP for that. Uh, for oh no, you do, you do. Ignore me, ignore me. We got twenty seven rather than thirty though, because of that ten percent uh, reduction. Uh, what happened to your parents? They're dead. Got themselves killed at Bitter Springs. Served them right, if you ask me. Huh? Oh, all right. Tell me uh, about. What happened to them at Bitter Springs? It was a massacre. That's what a lot of NCR folk will tell you. Most of them feel plenty bad about what happened. But I was there. Saw it myself. I don't care what anybody says. The cons asked for Bitter Springs. They wouldn't leave the NCRB. My damn parents, too. They were just as bad as the rest. We, um... <clears throat> We'll find out more about Bitter Springs, um, especially when we start working more with Boone. Um, th this guy here, Bitter Root, he's the second person um, in the NCR that we've come across that's ex Great Khan. Uh, Manny Vargas was the same. He mentioned um, that Benny was traveling with people from his old gang. Because Benny, um, as we know, when he, he hired Great Khans uh, to help him with trying to murder us and shoot us in the head and bury us. So um, quite, there's a, a few uh, soldiers in the NCR dotted around that are ex-Great Khans. Great Khans, incidentally as well, hate the NC, NCR because of what went down in Bitter Springs. But like I say, we'll find out more about Bitter Springs uh, later on, especially when we start working with Boone. Now, you don't really mean that, do you? Don't I? Mister, you never met my parents. My dad got himself fucked up every chance he got. Always started with folk for no reason. Hell, he was the one who taught me to shoot. You know how? By taking pot shots at NCR. And not just soldiers. Civilians, too. Even kids. Then he'd get high with his buddies and swap tales about the folk they killed. Bunch of animals. And my mom? A couple of times she tried to sell me to some waster just to score some jet. Even the other cons said she was useless. Only reason they kept her around was because she was a... <clears throat> How'd my dad say it? A smoking piece of ass. So your name, it comes from Bitter Springs. You're not fully grown till you've taken a beat down. Everybody gathers around and hits you till you're damn near dead. After that, if you haven't begged for mercy, you get to choose a new name. One you'll use for the rest of your life. When NCR slaughtered the cons of Bitter Springs, I hadn't gotten my beat down yet. I was still too young. The way I see it, Bitter Springs was my beat down. So afterward, I gave myself a name. It's all I got from the cons. It's all I ever won. This guy really doesn't like the, uh, the great cons. Uh, how did you survive the massacre? Guess I could tell a pretty good story if I had a mind. But the truth is, I don't know. I just got lucky. They brought me to Daughtry after the battle. He was just a captain back then. Guess he saw something in me. Knew I didn't belong with the cons. Maybe he felt bad too, about how his men killed my folks. I told him he did me a service, but he didn't believe me. Still doesn't. He's a good man, Daughtry. Doesn't act like it sometimes, I know. But he didn't have to take me in. Oh, uh, ooh, an intelligence check. Uh, you're not telling me something. You couldn't have forgotten the whole massacre. It's like I tell Major Daughtry. Best not to look under a rock if you don't really want to know what's there. Could be that NCR found some blood on me and none of it mine. Could be that a few of those cons didn't die from NCR bullets. I had scores of my own to settle. Deeper ones than NCR ever had. Don't bother asking who they were with. Ooh, interesting. Okay, I've heard enough. Let's talk about something else. Yeah, that's probably best. 
Um, not too friendly, are you? Guess not. I don't mean nothing by it. You really want to talk to somebody, try ten of spades. He's always got plenty to say. Me? I'm here to do my job. For now, that job is shooting fiends. How long have you been with the first recon? Now, first recon, we know that Manny Vargas and Boone are ex first recon. Um, Boone is wearing the same beret as what uh, Bitterroot is wearing from when he did his uh, uh, time in, the, in first recon. Uh, he even gave us one. I think we're wearing it right now. While, I guess. I don't keep too careful track of time. I like to keep things simple. Just focus on now. That's why they made me a sniper. You let your mind wander back a ways and you lose sight of what's in front of your eyes. Good way to miss a mark. Your, f your father is the commanding officer, is that allowed? Hang on, wait, father? Yeah, look, he's not my real oh, father. Right. He just looked after me for a while. It's a long story, and I'd get tired of talking before it was through. Cool, all right, no worries. Um, hang on, then why isn't that darked out? We just asked him that. Weird. Uh, where can I find some work around here? You and Merc? Well, then I guess you want to talk to my uh, father, Major Daughtry. He's our CO. Fair enough. Goodbye. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Uh, okay. Um, Corporal Sterling. I think now, he has some uh, good Sterling, things to say. Recon. Can't say I've seen you before. I'd remember if I had. By the uh, Corporal Sterling, uh, fantastic mustache, my good man. Uh, you remember everyone who passes through here? Got a good memory for faces, landmarks and such too. Comes with practice, that's all. And a lot of scouting from place to place. Interesting rifle you have there. Lever action, right? I call her the Long Carabine. Didn't always have the scope. I added that myself. Been shooting with her so long, couldn't bring myself to toss her away. Would have felt guilty to part with the old girl. The other snipers used bolt action, but Gorbets reckoned it didn't matter none if I was different, so long as I could hit my targets. Have you always been with First Recon? Used to be a ranger, one of the first they sent out east back before we took the dam. Observation and reconnaissance. We took the lay of the land, checked out the locals, and kept ourselves inconspicuous. A couple friends of mine were the first to scout the dam. That was back in 73, if I recall. A lot of those rangers are dead now. Vegas always chewed men up. It's just a little more literal nowadays. Why did you leave the Rangers? Well, that wasn't really a matter of choice. Got myself caught by legionaries up near Malpe. They had themselves some fun with me. Mangled my hands and feet pretty good. Wasn't much good with the pistol after that. Wasn't going to be trekking across the waist on any more long scouts either. Um, by his comments there, what I assume they did to him is they probably crucified him uh, being as they say he said that they he they mangled up his hands and feet is probably from nailing him to a cross I'd imagine um how did you manage to escape Malpais Caesar's boys figured I wasn't going anywhere after what they'd done to me so they didn't bother tying me up I crawled out of there on my elbows and knees must have looked a sight then I rolled down an embankment into the Colorado I guess I had a mind to drown rather than give Caesar's boys the satisfaction of killing me. But a couple of rangers happened to be watching from across the river. They jumped on in and pulled me out of there. Lucky break, they said. How long have you been stationed here? Going on six months now, but I reckon we'll be moving out soon enough. Can't talk about the details. Till then, we'll man the towers and keep an eye on the fiends. We've had more than our share of trouble from their direction. The whole thing smells of Caesar to me. Of course, that's just guesswork, but I still bet a few caps he's stirring up the locals against us. Fair enough. Goodbye, old uh, old chum. Always a pleasure. Keep yourself safe. Goodbye to you, my good man, and your fantastic moustache. Uh, Corporal Betsy. Oh, Corporal Betsy. Okay, let's have a word with Never him. Never seen you around before. What do you want? Have you seen any co serious combat here? Not unless you count the fiends as serious. Gorobetz keeps us inside the fence most of the time. Doesn't matter to me. I just shoot bad guys. Sooner or later, they'll move us out to the dam, though. That's when the shit gets nasty. What do you mean? Legion fights to win. And they're smart. Hell of a lot smarter than these crazy fiends. But I don't feel bad about shooting Legion boys. Fiends, on the other hand, sometimes I get pangs of conscience. Not often. 
but sometimes. Uh, Bubo the Jester, hello, hello to you as well, and uh, welcome. Uh, bear with me, let me just uh, see. First time chat, yeah, first time chat from Bubo. Uh, sorry, Bubo the Jester. Thanks for coming along, Bubo. I uh, really appreciate that, and uh, welcome. Happy, uh, happy big Saturday and happy weekend. Uh, Bu Bubo the Jester, how is everybody? Very well, thanks for asking. And uh, hope you're very well too as well. Um, thanks, uh, thanks once again, Bubo. Thanks for, thanks for popping along. Um, okay, Corporal Betsy. Uh, first, I've heard about conscience, uh, con conscience in a while. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, thanks for the follow as well, uh, Bubo. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, first, I've heard about conscience in a while. Some cute little junkie bitch, so fucked up she doesn't even know that she's the bad guy. And I've got a headshot her. Makes me think. Might just be sex, though. I see some cute little number, and I'd rather get in her pants. So maybe I'm a stone-cold bitch after all. Now, uh, that's an interesting comment there. Um, she mentioned about the fiends being so fucked up out of their head and she's, um, she's headshotting them with her rifle, right? That's the whole deal with the fiends. Fiends are raiders. Um, they've got a vault as well, which they operate from. So they've got a home base and they've got numbers as well. But the fiends are described as being so out of their mind on chems that they just don't know what they're doing. And that's why they're, they're violent and they attack people. But she also... If you notice there, she um, mentioned um, she was she was very she made some very overly sexual comments about women there as well. There's a reason for that, and if we dig a little bit deeper, we might be able to find out why. Now, um, if we say um, if we say how about a date? I like tough women. Yeah, right. You're sniffing up the wrong skirt. Try me again when you're tall, blonde, and female. Uh. Bubo the Jester. Uh, that's good kindness, creates kindness also. I'm a big law head on all these games except 76. So feel free to ask law. Oh, thanks, uh, thanks Bubo. Um, I might have to actually, because uh, my New Vegas law is not, it's not amazing. It's not bad. Um, it's not bad because I've s I played this semi recently in the last say five years-ish. Um, over the years though, um, I played it to death. I played it a lot. Um, when it when it first came out, I put hundreds and hundreds of hours into uh, into Fallout games. Um, but yeah, if I'm ever struggling, I will uh, I will uh, come to you for advice, uh, Bubo. Thanks for the offer as well. Thanks for the offer. And um, yeah, I don't. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, I think I I understand what you mean as well about accept seventy six. I've tried to enjoy seventy six so many times, so many times, but. Um, I don't know what it is. I just, I can't. I can't do it. It's a shame as well, because um, if you ask me, 76 has got one of the, um, one of the most interesting uh, wastelands um, in terms of uh, its difference between biomes. Uh, it is extreme contrast in, in each of its biomes. And it's set up, I guess, a lot like Skyrim in some ways, where Skyrim's got um, regions like you've got the Pale against like the Reach, etc., which, uh, which do vastly differ. Uh, Bubo, I'm at 628 hours at Steam, possibly more back than on console. Yeah, this is the first time um, I've played through this game on PC. Um, I played, uh, I, well, traditionally, up until last year, really, I always played on console. But um, I, put, I, I don't even know how much time I put into uh, uh, Fallout 3 and, and New Vegas. Um, I, I'll never know either because uh, of the infamous uh, uh, 360 hard drive dying, uh, which I've mentioned a few times. I lost all of my old stuff, all my old saves on these games. But I did manage to get every achievement on, uh, on Xbox as well uh, for both Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 4. But uh, I put a lot of time into them. Um, it's just uh, the most recent time I played this game, it's like I say, it's about... It's within the last five years, so semi recently. Semi. So, you're a sniper. What gave me away? The big gun, the shades, or the attitude? Nice. <laughs> um, 
The big gun. Yep. A lot of people make that connection. Big gun. Sniper. Some people don't even need to ask. Um, I think we might have missed out on some things there, but never mind. Uh, goodbye, Corporal Betsy. Yeah, try not to get killed. I kind of like her. She's a hard ass, but I still kind of like her all the same. Um, unfortunately, though, we couldn't get um, couldn't get into why she's a bit she's a bit forward and outgoing with uh, her sexuality. It's almost as if she's like overcompensating for something. Um, we couldn't dig deep enough to find out, unfortunately. Now, um, who do we need to actually speak to in this place? Bear with me. Uh, let's go on a local map. Because at the moment, what we're looking to do is deliver the Crimson Caravan invoice to Hilden or Cap, Cap McCarran. Okay. So uh, let's just follow the uh, quest marker for now. Looks like we're going to have to go into um, Camp McCarran proper. It is, uh, I will say as well though, Bubo, um, is that it feels so good to be back in New Vegas. So good. I can never get tired of these games. These games are fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. <clears throat> okay. Uh, where is this person we need to speak to? A lot of high-ranking, uh, high-ranking individuals in Camp McCarran as well. High-ranking in the, uh, NCR. Uh, I guess we go down here, maybe? Sorry. Oh, no. Paran is behind us. Maybe downstairs. Take a look over here. Aha. Who are you? A little busy at the moment, but I can talk. What is this place? This? The OSI lab. I agree. I'm downloading again currently. The gonna get my mods off, and reshade back. Nobody ever said science would and smell I'll clean and fresh. Be PG. Anyway, you get used to it if you give it some time. I tried, um, I tried keeping a couple of texture mods and things like Eevee um, on before, when I was planning to first uh, start streaming uh, a few weeks ago, but I couldn't get it to work. Um, not, couldn't get it, when I was testing it for stream, I couldn't get it to actually work with, uh, with my setup, so unfortunately I had to take all the mods off. So uh, we're playing it completely vanilla uh, at this point. The only thing we've got installed is uh, expansions. Uh, we did install, we did keep on as well, um, the courier stash. I know a lot of people don't like that, but, and I can understand why, but. Reshade and Sweet Fix, um, Sweet FX and Nevada sh the Skies equals beauty. I'll, um, I'll keep a note of that actually, and I'll, uh, I'll try them out at some point in my own time. Are you a scientist? I know, I don't sound the part. Get raised by Brahmin ranchers and you never lose the twang. Drives Hildren crazy. But I know every inch of the power grid from Hoover Dam to Shady Sands. That's what we do here. Try to optimize the power output from the dam. Some of the others are working on an agricultural project, but truth be told, they aren't making much progress. Not yet, anyway. Uh, what's your role here? Head researcher. Mostly on the dam project, but I help out on other things when they need me. Gotta be flexible. Need help with anything? You mean give you work? No, that'd be up to the administrator, Hildern. He's back there in his office. Between you and me, I don't think he ever leaves. Plenty of mercs go in to see him, though. That's who I'm looking for. Uh, mercenaries? What for? I can't say. Uh, excuse me, sorry. About the research. Burpy baby. Not the details. I have if a video I used I'm to sure mod my game. If you're ever needing a video, I got one. Oh, nice. I will do. Which, um... Do you, do you mean like up on YouTube or something? Because um, if you are, I'll, I'll check you out. I'll check you out, Bubo. Uh, let me know. Let me know. And uh, I'll definitely check it out. Nice to meet you. If you and need anything, um, I'm if you're on YouTube as well or, or Twitch, I'll uh, follow or, or subscribe 
to uh, support. Uh, Hilden. A pleasure to meet you. I'm oh, Dr. I remember Thomas this guy. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault Twenty Two. Vault Twenty Two. This is the first I've heard about Vault uh, Twenty Two. Actually, should we lie to him and say yes? Um, let's say it depends how much you're paying. <laughs> A mercenary, is that it? You won't be disappointed, I promise you. The Office of Science and Industry provides highly competitive benefits. And as an external contractor, your pay would be rather more competitive than those of our regular employees. But we should keep that to ourselves, don't you think? So, how about I tell you what we need, and then you can tell me whether you're up to it. No pressure, of course. All right, I'm listening. Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in bloom. Vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Orchards of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat, ripe oranges, a harvest that could feed a city or a nation. And all of this, all this, requiring no more than a few drops of precious water and the efforts of only a handful of human farmers. Impossible? Get to the point. <laughs> Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them. No one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. All right, I'll do it. Good. No need to check in with the NCR authorities. I can authorize your payment from OSI accounts. Vaults typically contain a server room on a lower level where they would have backed up their research data. A computer room, you understand? Download all the information on the central server to your pip boy, and you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? Anything else I should know? I thought it was a fairly straightforward assignment. It's a simple question of retrieving the data, which shouldn't prove overly challenging. Downloading the data will be handled by your pip boy. You might think of yourself as a mere means of conveyance. Uh, no insult intended, of course. Okay. Goodbye. Best of luck to you. Not that you'll need it. You seem like a reasonably competent person. Oh, hold up. This is the guy I was looking for, right? Yeah, this is the guy I'm looking for. Yes. I need to speak to him. Something Some else more. you needed? Uh, I have an invoice for you from Alice McLafferty. From Alice? I'll see that she's paid right away. Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation. Even out here in the waste, wouldn't do to keep them waiting. Was there anything else? Or were you just here about the invoice? Nope, that's it. Right, we should level yes. now, hopefully? Goodbye. No, not quite there. Not quite there. Um, if we talk to his assistant now. Oh. Did Dr. Hilder, this really isn't any of my business, but did he give you a job? Yes, uh, he asked me to get some data from Vault 22. I shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildern sent out to the vault. There were a lot of mercs. One after uh, another. Bubo. Uh, oh my god, that back. chemistry stat is talking. Ago, there was a scientist, <laughs> um, I don't know if you could, like, could see what I'm happened. I went round to expect, speak to her. But she's an and um, it, it, she kind of like, I, it kind of like stopped me dead. Because she was it? trying to come to Are me to speak to me. Marks? And she went to run around. And that's why it, that happened. But it's quite funny. Uh, no, Hilden didn't mention anyone else. But now he's hired you. Yeah, you saw, yeah. Which means one of two <laughs> It was weird. Either he I wasn't expected to be Kiwi stopped dead in my trash. And she failed. Like that. Or he's given up on her. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich. Not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. All right, I'll look for her. I had a good feeling about you. Moment you walked in. I mean it. Is it because I asked about her accent? Uh, right, goodbye. Right. Okay, cool. Alright, so we've got another quest, um, now. Um, we're gonna spend some time, more time in Camp McCarran first, though. Um, being as, uh, th there's a few more things that we can pick up here, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we've got, um, oh, I forget the name of the quest. Is it you got to shoot him in the head? No, that's Fallout 3. 
Even the stupid NCR is It's the one where you got to get the fiends. Uh, you got to kill the fiends and retrieve their heads and 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 hand them in. Um, I forget how you pick that up though. But if we go around uh, investigating, I'm sure we'll find it soon enough. Um, yeah, we got you. Got to set, kill uh, three fiend bosses and retrieve their heads and, and bring them back. Oh, pardon me. Uh, Fallout Three mission given by Mr. Crowley. That's the one. Yeah, that's uh, you got to shoot them in the head. Um, I got my fallouts crossed there for uh, a brief second. Um, I forget what this one's called. It's the one where you got to pick up the the fiend's heads, though. And uh, also, I can't remember who gives it to you. But like I say, if we wander around for enough, uh, and speak to enough people, we should be able to find it. Um, right, we've spoken to Betsy, we've spoken to Sterling, and we've spoken to Bitterroot. Um, this guy, I think, is just a regular... Yeah, he's just a regular guy. Let's see our trooper. There's someone around here. I know who does. Um, they're around here, right? They are around Camp Karen. <clears throat> oh, stuck. You! Who are you, hey. NCR Trooper? He was picking his nose, did he? We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Um, <clears throat> regular Trooper. The um, Vault 22 mission we were given as well, that's good for uh, Veronica as well. Uh, we'll need to go there with Veronica at some point anyway. Um, I forget the name, but Bitterroot did say, uh, did mention someone. You there. Let's see our trooper. Maybe they're indoors. Yeah, around the front, he's a major. Uh, around the front of uh, Camp McCarran. Thanks for the help as well. Who's that? Chem addict. Yeah, forget him. He's not. Uh, he's not hostile. No, around the front of the main building. Ah, Major Major Dattery. I think that's who um, Bitterroot uh, mentioned, actually. Around the front of the main building. Thanks, uh, thanks, Bubo. <laughs> I would have been, uh, I would have been lo looking around for quite some time if you hadn't said that. Who's that guy? He's wearing some. Uh, Metal armor. Little buster. Let me guess. You got work for me, right? Well, you're too late. I just quit the bounty trade. As soon as I pick up some Lord, caps, yeah, he Dr. took him me. in from Bitter Springs scrapyard. after the massacre. That's the guy. Are you supposed to be famous or something? Well, shit. Feel free to stick a knife in the old ego. Thought I made a name for myself around here. Guess that's as good a reason as any to quit this stinking trade. No glory. No easy money, no women, and no glory. Shit. I'd settle just for the women. Why does Datri owe you money? Uh, owe you caps? Because I killed a couple of marks for him. That's why. You ever hear of Jackson? Or Night Terror? I take it they were fiends? Damn right they were. And they were good, too. Till I popped a couple shells in their assholes. Bam. <laughs> Dead. Finished. Over. Popped a couple See, of caps in their ass? Job, I do. Um... Maybe I complain a little here and there. But my shit gets done. Uh, how long have you been a bounty hunter? Oh, shit, I don't know. Gotta be at least a month. Longer than I last at most jobs. You've worked uh, a lot of different trades? Oh, yeah. A lot. Like, before I was a bounty hunter, I worked as a caravan guard. You'd think that was a cakewalk, right? Wrong. Crazy bastards expected me to wake up at dawn. Forget it. It's about two <laughs> hours after this guy hits the sack. And I need at least 10, 12 hours of sleep to do my job. 
price of excellence. <laughs> I like this guy. I like this guy. Uh, I've been known to hunt a few bounties myself. Well, hey, the field's wide open now that I'm gone. Probably lots of people looking to get in once they hear I quit. What are you going to do now? Simple. Gonna make myself some easy money. I got a plan. Once I get my cash from Daughtry, I'm going to head on over to Gamora and win big at cards. <laughs> There's not right, many people playing at Gamora, so that means I've got better odds of winning big. I got this figured out. <laughs> that makes no sense, dude. <laughs> Why did you quit the trade? See, I thought the bounty hunting trade would be easy money, but it turns out it's hard work, so screw it. Of course it also, is. Also, I ran into this mark who was a little too tough for me. I mean, I could have taken him, but with this guy, it might have cost me some bad burns or an asshole. Oh, he's on about cook, uh, I'm cook, cook. I'm risking my life. But I'm a little sensitive about my asshole. <laughs> I like this guy. I like the cut of his jib. He's cool. <laughs> right, where's Dattery? Come on, Dattery, where are you? Show yourself. It's, uh, it's the man I'm looking for. Oops. Is that him? Or is that just an NCR trooper? Little Buster's funny. I like Little Buster. He's cool. Ooh, this guy looks like uh, he might be Dattery. Here we are. If it's bad news, you can take it up with the colonel. <laughs> if it's good news... This guy is an idiot, not gonna fiends. lie. <laughs> what do you know about the fiends? Back of drugged out killers. They're addicted to every stim, every pill, every psychoactive enema on this fucked up earth. I've got three fiends that I want dead, and I don't give a goddamn how it gets done. That sound like something that interests you? Hell yeah. Good. That's damn good. I figure it's Three card bounty. That's what's called. So maybe you can snuff one of these maniacs. First one calls herself Violet. God knows why. The name is the prettiest thing about her. Spends most of her time with a pack of vicious dogs. Then there's Driver Nafai. He's fast and he's brutal. Killed about a dozen of my men with a goddamn driver iron. Hence his name. And finally... Cook, cook. Rapist, pyromaniac, and damn good chef, if you believe the fiends we've captured. Probably the craziest of the lot. That's the guy I'm who, um, little buster was just talking about raping his ass. They've all killed good NCR men, and plenty of mercs too. You go after them, any of them, you're in for a hell of a fight. So, which one is it gonna be? Uh, can I say all of them? Let's go for Violet. Violet it is. Wish I could give you more advice on how to bring her down, but we know less about her than the other two. Just watch out for the dogs. She raises them herself. Might as well be their mother and they never leave her side. Where can I find her? Good question. Fiend territory is southeast of here, but they range all over the area. None of them stays in any one place for long. Anything else I need to know? One more thing. If you want the full reward, you need to bring me a recognizable head. My superiors need proof they're gone. That means no headshots, no decapitations till after they're dead, and no damage to the face. If you want to be safe, aim for the chest. You bring me a head that looks like a rotten tomato, people will be doubting, and I won't be authorized to pay the entire bounty. Good luck to you, and don't get careless. You can uh, kill all of them and still get paid, uh, just keep the head intact. Yep. Yep, uh, I know. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, I see. So you can just go and do it. Um, if I if I change my bounty and ask about another one, though, they might give me the location, right? Drive in Nefi. You've got some guts. I'll give you that. Nefi is one tough son of a bitch. You let him get close, and he'll take your head off. My advice is this. Talk to Lieutenant Gorobetz. He's in charge of Alpha Team, First Recon, Snipers. If you're lucky, you can lure Nefi into the open and the sharpshooters can bring him down. You bring me the head, you'll still get the bounty. It's a better bet than trying to take Nefi one-on-one, -on -one, but it's your call. Okay. Um, I know where he is. Lots of soldiers... Uh, no, let's just say that. Out in the yard. Gorobetz coordinates our sniper teams. He's been gunning for Nefi for weeks now. Only thing he hasn't had is willing bait. Don't have enough troops to order anyone beyond the fence. Not anymore, anyway. Got it. 
You've gone after the fiends before. I don't have to tell you. To what keep kind of build on your right. character? Um, I'll show you in a second, Boobo. I'll show you in a second when we get out of the dialogue with uh, with this guy. Um, I've changed my mind. Let's pick the uh, pick Cook Cook. One thing I should tell you about Cook Cook. Piece of shit is pure animal. He raped one of my snipers, and that makes this personal. Also, he's got a flamethrower, and he's damn good with it. From what I hear, he either rapes or burns every living thing he gets his hands on. Only one man's gotten close to killing him, and that's Little Buster. <laughs> little Buster. That's what he says, anyway. Maybe it's bullshit. <laughs> I'd still ask him about it. Uh, what else can you tell me about Little Buster? Bounty Hunter. Talks big. But he's still alive, so he can't be completely full of shit. I think he's out in the yard waiting to claim a couple bounties. Got it. You've gone after the fiends before. Okay, um, you were a bit of, uh, a bit of springs, I'm told. Yeah, I was there. I was Captain Daughtry then. That whole situation was a mess and could easily have been avoided with good intel. The Major in charge at the time made a bad call. He thought Bitter Springs was full of Great Con Raiders. So we surrounded the place. By the time any of us realized there were civilians down there, women and children, the shooting had already started. The Major froze up at the news, and we couldn't get another word out of him. I took over and salvaged the situation as best I could. For my effort, I was promoted to Major. Not quite the way I'd have wanted it. Um... Well, can you tell me about the Great Khans? We know they supply the fiends with illegal cams, but they never stick around in NCR territory for long. They know the land and move quick. There's talk from time to time about taking out their base at Red Rock Canyon, but nothing ever comes of it. The Great Khans are tough fighters. If we ever did go up against them on their home turf, we'd win. The casualties would be high. Okay, map, map, map marker from that, that's cool. I heard you're a bit of Root's father. Adoptive father, yes. I was very proud when he made first recon. I know that every time I send them out, I could be sending him to his death. But if it's not me, it'll be somebody else. At least this way I get one more chance to see him. Oh, that's that's nice. That's really nice. I like this guy. I like this guy. Uh, you're having trouble with fiends? Damn right I am. And I'm paying bounties. Okay, cool. I think we've exhausted uh, his dialogue there. Now, um, my build, uh, Bubo. Um, I my special. I've got charisma one, obviously, because of course. Um, I put intelligence to ten rather than wait until I get the implant, because we haven't come across the um, uh, the uh, in, the the New Vegas clinic. Um, so I just put it straight up to ten from the beginning to get the max uh, skill points I could. And then, um, I think I've upped my, I've upped something with, um, intense training. I can't remember what it was. Uh, my perception's up because of my first recon beret. Uh, because we've spoken to Boone, because we've been to Novak. Uh, and that's the rest of my stats there. Skills, um, skills we're obviously knocking up speech in the right direction as quickly as we can. Uh, but we're going in survival over medicine, because we're on hardcore. And um, uh, we've been we've been putting points into guns, lockpick, uh, a bit of repair as well. Oops. Um, oh my bad. Sorry. There we go. Uh, perks so far we've got bloody mess, comprehension because of course, uh, educated because of course. Uh, that's from being with Eddie. Uh, we took good natured as a trait. I pretty much always take good natured. Um, I explained at the time, but it's basically because. It's better to have plus five uh, for non-combatant skills across the board and a minus five to all uh, combat skills because you'll only ever specialize in like uh, two, maybe three combat skills. Uh, so I really, really highly rate good natured. Um, this is uh, this some people some people don't like this um, as a trait. Um, I know that for a fact, but um, I took skilled. Um, I took skilled because um, although this will make us be, uh, be under leveled for a little bit of the early game, um, in my opinion, it's uh, it's well worth it because you'll always cap out on level. Uh, you know, just by by playing the game, you'll you'll always have a means to gain experience. 
Um, so the minus 10% from experience for the plus five across the board, I'll, uh, I'll take that. If it means I'm going to be under-leveled for a little bit in the early game, I'm fine with that. I'm absolutely fine with that. Yeah, so that's my build. Um, at the moment, we're wearing the first recon. Um, armored vault suit from the courier stash. Reading glasses for the hell of it. And um, we've, got, uh, we've got a few guns on us. I uh, got that gun for free. Stole it from uh, Briscoe in Novak. And uh, picked up... Uh, GRA plasma pistol and laser pistol. Uh, but you, we've used that a couple of times from the uh, Korea stash as well. Uh, so yeah, there's uh, there's my build. Um, hold on, uh, let's have a look at our quests. Uh, speak with little Buster about cook cook. We've done that. Um, I'm guessing we don't have to then. I'm guessing we don't have to speak to them. Um, I'm not going to speak to Gorbet Go or, or whatever his name was either then. Um, what we're going to do, we're just going to uh, go through this load zone here. Just to create an autosave. And then, uh, if it's okay with you guys, I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to take a, a quick break then. Um, right. Um, Bubo, uh, but what kind of build are you going for? Gunslinger, shotgun, sniper, melee, unarmed, maybe a little of most. Um, I'm not going to go into melee. Or unarmed. I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna be investing in shotgun perks as we go along because uh, when you start getting perks like unstay back and stay back and shotgun uh, surgeon, shotguns are seriously powerful. So we'll be going into shotguns. Uh, we'll be using a bit of sni some snipers as well uh, and pistols, I guess. Um, guns are gonna be our main focus. Uh, not heavy guns, just just regular guns, and then we'll. Um, We'll also uh, we'll also put some points into uh, energy weaponry as well, so it'll be a mixture of both guns and energy weapons. Yeah, yeah. No uh, melee. Um, even though we won't be specking into melee or unarmed, um, we'll still um, we'll still uh, be able to do uh, a lot with, uh, say, uh, an unarmed weapon um, in terms of sneak attacking. So. Um, I don't think we'll be specking into that because you can still you can still utilize criticals and sneak attacks with, uh, say, uh, a mantis claw or a power fist. So uh, we're, we're going to leave we're going to basically be leaving melee alone um, and just be using guns, pistols, and energy weapons. Essentially, yeah. Essentially. So um, if um, if you bear with me, uh, everyone, uh, I'm sorry about this. I'm just going to take the usual five, uh, but no longer than, than seven minutes, okay? Um, I do apologize. I'm going to go now because uh, I'll level with you. I am busting for the loo. <laughs> so um, if you bear with me, I, uh, I won't keep you long, okay? I'll, uh, I'll be RB. Be RB.